and several other quotation i am i cannot say the many quotations sir jesus christ said i am i will quote it from my memory if i'm quoting wrong you can correct me father gospel of john chapter number 10 verse number 23 says that jesus entered the po- the bible is here and hi guys you welcome back thanks for clicking so reverend father misquoted the bible in front of dr zack like you won't believe what happened next let's check it out our father has given uh, two quotations from the bible the gospel of john and he rightly said the gospel does say in several places jesus christ himself said that i am he didn't give the reference number i am giving the reference number it is gospel of john chapter number 14 verse number 6 says for i am the light the truth and the way no man cometh unto my father but by me that's the quotation father was referring to uh, and several other quotation i am i cannot say that many quotations sir. jesus christ said i am and father is one in yes. john a uh, gospel of john chapter 17 verse 20 it is okay. not chapter 17 verse 20 it's chapter 10 verse number 30 you, you check it out the bible is here and my father of one is not in gospel of john chapter 17 it's in gospel of john chapter number 10 verse number 30 you can check you it can, up father you can, refer, you can refer yes you can refer i'm sure of it chapter 17 i am quoting chapter 17 verse 20 and 21 neither pray for these alone but for them also which shall believe on me through their word that they all may be one as thou father art in me and i in thee that they also may be one in us that the world may believe that thou hast sent me father you said i and my father are one now open chapter 10 verse number 30 and read that father please pardon open chapter 10 and verse number 30 which one you said that jesus christ said i and my father are one verbatim that statement is given in gospel of john chapter 10 verse 30 can you open it father and read it for the people i just read the what i said there chapter 17 father the thing is being recorded what you said jesus christ said i and my father are one that statement is not there in gospel of john chapter 17 verse 20 now open gospel of john chapter 10 verse number 30 that that statement will be there you read so many words we are quoting different text and we can quote so many text from the i'm sorry Bible. father you you made the statement i and my father are one yes if you open gospel of john chapter 10 and read it to the public they will understand chapter gospel of john chapter 10 verse 30 john chapter 10 verse 30 30 i and my father are one that that's the statement you made it is being video recorded you said that jesus christ peace be upon him said i and my father are one this is a verbatim statement you had made earlier but that is found in gospel of john chapter 10 verse 30 now to explain this i will quote both the verses sister for a better understanding and as you said that people can interpret bible in a different way i will give the interpretation which is logical if you quote gospel of john chapter 10 verse 30 i and my father are one it's just out of context if you read the context and link the verse which father said about gospel of john chapter 17 you get the answer for context father you have to go to verse number 23 i will quote it from my memory if i'm quoting wrong you can correct me father gospel of john chapter number 10 verse number 23 says that jesus entered the porch in the temple of solomon verse number 24 says that the jews surrounded him and they asked him that if thou art the christ tell us plainly verse number 25 says i'm quoting father if i'm wrong you can correct me verse number 25 says i have told you but you believe not because you are not my sheep the work that i do in my father's name bear witness of me verse number 27 my sheep follow me because they hear me next verse i give them eternal life no man can pluck them out of my hand wow. verse number 29 my father who gave it them to me no man can pluck them out of my father's hand my father is greater than all let me check guys fine verse number 30 says i and my father are one Now if you read the context the earlier verse is say that no man can pluck these people the followers of Jesus Christ peace be upon him from his hand no man can pluck them out of the father's hand that means god's hand god almighty if you read the context it means the plucking in purpose Jesus Christ peace be upon him and god almighty are same suppose i say my father is a doctor and he is a medical doctor i am a doctor in purpose i and my father are one but that does not mean one in unity If you mean it means one in unity, then I have to go back to your verse which you quoted rightly. 
John chapter 17 verse, which, verse number 21 20, 23 which says that if you agree that one means God Almighty and Jesus Christ claim divinity if it means that you have to agree according to John chapter 17 verse 21 23 Jesus Christ said that I am in my father my father is in me I am in you who is telling the apostles that means if you say in one means God Almighty is same as Jesus Christ then according to John chapter 17 verse 21 23 you will have to believe even the apostles are God Almighty so do you believe in 12 plus Jesus Christ plus God Almighty to be 14 gods no. so if you say I and my one means Jesus Christ claimed divinity Jesus Christ also said I am in my father my father is in me I am in you read the verse you quoted John chapter 17 verse 21 23 it says that Jesus Christ is in the apostles does it mean that Jesus Christ as God Almighty is in the Apostles? Are the Apostles also God Almighty? No. It means one in purpose. It means one in purpose. That means Jesus Christ had delivered the same message of God Almighty and the Apostles of Jesus Christ also delivered the same message which Jesus Christ peace be upon him preached. And further if you read John chapter 10 verse number 31 it says that the Jews picked up stones to stone Jesus Christ. I am reading further. Verse number 32 says that for which of my good works do you stone me? So Jews tell him, we don't stone you for good work. We stone you because you being a man, you blaspheme, saying that you are God. So then Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, verse number 34, 35 says that it is said in your law and scriptures that ye are gods. And if you say to a person God, to whom the word of God has come, the law is not broken. And if you read the Psalms, the 82nd Psalm, verse number 6 says that ye are gods. Whoever are led by the Spirit of God, they are called as gods. The Spirit is not broken. So Jesus Christ said that if you call to a person to who the word of God has come, then the law is not broken. He never claimed divinity. So yet, there is no statement in the whole Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself said that he is God or worship me. Wow. Wow. Guys, I am so impressed. Dr. Zakir Naik really surprised me guys because the fact that Dr. Zakir Naik knows a lot you know he was saying it verses by verses verses by verses the Reverend Father misquoted the Bible he said I went to quote John chapter 10 he was quoting John chapter 17 Dr. Zakir Naik has to quote the right passage of the Bible and let us understand why Jesus said I am a father and one Jesus saying, I am a father and one doesn't mean he is God. That is, his, his father is greater than everybody, including him, Jesus. Jesus never said, I'm God, and never said, worship me. He always make reference of God, always give acknowledgement to God, and he said, I know my sheep, and my sheep knows me. And my father is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. I am a father and one. When he, what he means by I am a father and one is in terms of spirituality. When it comes to the realm of the spirit, him and his father are one. But when it comes to divinity, you know, when it comes to supremacy, it is God. God is God. So, Jesus only made that statement, I am a father and one, because of, you know, the connection he has with his father because of closeness he has with the father because of the realm of the spirit because of the things God has made him do because of the mighty things Jesus did through God and I was really flabbergasted because a lot of verses that Dr. Zach Knight was actually quoting like he really tried for him to even quote it verse by verse and even the Reverend Father was actually in shock the fact that Dr. Zakina was, how was he able to do it? Do it? How was he able to memorize so many chapter, so many passage of the Bible? How was he able to do it? That's mind blowing, guys. Most Christians don't even know most of the, you know, passages he quoted, and he was right. I was even going through it step by step, and I noticed that he didn't make any mistake. He even quoted Psalm eighty two. Trying to let the father understand that Jesus never admitted to be God and there's nothing like Trinity and Jesus never said we should worship him. No wonder most Muslim or doctors like Mike always say even Muslims are more Christian than Christian themselves because if Muslim can know the Bible where can 
quote the Bible rightly, understand the Bible more than Christians, we have a lot of work to do as Christians, including me. We have a whole lot of work to do because I was so shocked. Wow. Um, that was beautiful. I want to know is most Christians, before you come out to give your points, you need to understand the Bible well before we come to make a debate or argument or talk about Christianity. We need to do better. Christianity needs to do better. Wow, that was interesting, guys. I learned a whole lot from this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, comment. I'll see you guys in the next one.